Deuteronomy 3.24 Adonai Elohim ata hachilota veharot et avdecha et godlecha ve et yadecha hachazecha asher mi el bashamayim u baaretz asher yaase chema asecha u chegiv burotecha so, we're back to the translation today. You might have noticed I said here, Adonai Elohim. And this is typically the way it would be pronounced, though I recognize this is the divine name. Usually in English translations, this will be capitalized with all caps to recognize the divine name. But we get here, O Lord God, you, you have begun to show. Here we have two hifils. So let's look at these for a second. And we've got a hifil perfect 2ms right here of the root halal. Notice it's a geminate root, so we have two of the same letter at the end. One of those is this dagesh here. The thematic vowel gets shifted to the R1. We have the performative here, and then the subformative of the perfect 2ms gets linked to the root with this holum vav. So that's a pretty complex one, but you have begun to show, here's the hifil of the root uh, ra'ah, it's a hifil infinitive construct with a lamid preposition. So you have begun to cause to see or to show. What are you showing? You're showing your servant your greatness. We've got a doubled object and a tripled object and your hand, the mighty one, and your mighty hand. So you're showing your servant these things, your greatness and your mighty hand. Which, this is a relative clause that's a bit confusing because it's a relative clause that further is defining kind of the reasons for uh, the Lord showing this greatness or the reasons that this is considered the Lord's greatness because what God or who God is in the heavens or in the earth who does, here's a call imperfect 3ms of the root asa, who does according to the works of you as your works or according to the mighty acts of you or according to your mighty acts. So we get a relative clause here that's functioning somewhat like a reason clause. Uh, you have begun to show your servant your greatness and your mighty hand for what great God, what God is there in the heavens or in the earth who does these acts as yours or these mighty acts as yours.